The Repercussions in the Aftermath of the Dust Bowl, created by Alexis Comer. Many of us have heard about the Dust Bowl and imagined this catastrophe and sympathize with it. However, no one understands the true struggles of living through this time quite like the generation that lived through the Great Depression. This environmental disaster was caused by a long series of droughts, strong winds, and clouds that triggered the formation of dust and debris storms that clouded over the United States. This disaster darkened cities, buried farm equipment, killed livestock, and represented a serious health risk. This triggered a hazard known as dust pneumonia, which is the case referred to a fatal illness that many acquired within the Midwest. Looking at it in a larger perspective, the Dust Bowl made acres and acres of land counterproductive, leaving over half a million American people without a home. Having no means of raising food or money for their families since this large catastrophe took over their only means of income. This period of time also resulted in the most severe, se severe time period of internal migration in American history. Statistically speaking, within the years of 1932 and 1940, it is estimated that nearly 2.5 million people fled from the plains for other regions within the United States. Making matters worse, the Americans who migrated to other regions of the country were not always welcome. The majority of these migrants were known as Okies, referring to the fact that these people came from Oklahoma, which was one of the worst hit states. These people were looked down upon and viewed as inferior, making it hard for these citizens to seek refuge during the crisis. The rest of the individuals who decided against fleeing their farmland attempted to fight the dust and wind. People were attached to their farms and remained on their plains until a single hope for a drop of rain occurred. Many were forced to leave once they were unable to pay their mortgages, leading to the loss of their farm. In response to this large calamity, President Roosevelt put his administration to work and sought out measures to alleviate the predicament of the migrants and rural poor through the work of agencies and other tactics that were designed to attack and further prevent the root of the causes of the environmental deterioration that led to the creation of this disaster in the first place. Several of the New Deal programs helped with these cases and aided with keeping hungry families alive on their land. These government programs formed a new range of farming and conservation methods that were designed to permit sustainable farming upon the American Plains. Two of the programs, known as Civilian Conservation Corps and the Soil Conservation Service, recognized the key issues with soil conservation and went to work. The, the creation of the Soil Erosion Service Program was noted the first major federal commitment to the preservation of natural resources in private hands. In addition to the significant alterations that the New Deal put forth in 1935, Franklin Roosevelt proposed the Priory States Forestry Project, which worked in hand in hand with the Civilian Conservation Corps and the Works Progress Administration in order to plant over 200 million trees, which allowed for over 20,000 miles of windbreaks on thousands of farms. The effort that these farmers and Franklin Roosevelt put forth enabled and altered the face of America and put an end to the dust storms that allowed the United States to stagger.